Once you browse for any preset pack, especially for bass music, you quickly realize that everything is based on simple waves, FM and effects. Even a simple sound can turn into something like this. And just to keep it simple, I didn't even use any plugin. Everything is stock, including a synth, which is technically not a synth at all. Now, once you go straight into pitch and oscillator tab and activate oscillator, nothing really happens. But once you bring up the volume of this oscillator, you go straight into 2010-ish Skrillex territory. Yes! Oh my gosh! Obviously, that's a little bit too much, but we can handle it in two ways. First is by adjusting the pitch of this oscillator. Another way is to start playing with oscillator envelope. As well as its level, obviously. But watch out, since here comes the biggest trap of sound design, which I also fell into many times. Not thinking about bigger picture. This one sounded like I'm about to run a startup on a random Monday at 3 a.m. Since have filters, effects, and modulation, so use them instead of trying to make that low bass tone straight away. First, decrease the cutoff. And then go straight away to something with a bit more character. Then increase the drive. And maybe a resonance to bring that peak tone a little bit more. And don't sleep on built-in shaper. This tiny little icon here is crucial because as for right now, the shaper goes into filter. And even if I increase the amount, there is not that big of a difference. But once I switch it to the filter first and then the shaper, you instantly get that crunchy effect we want. Next comes the filter envelope and its modulation. Once I increase the amount like that, now it's a little bit too short, so let's increase the decay time. Maybe decrease the amount now, since we have it a little bit longer. And if you wish there was an option to modulate other things, like for example shaper amount, then say no more my friend. Here comes the aux envelope and three different LFOs. So let's stick to the shaper amount since I've mentioned it already. Find it here on this list, shaper amount, then bring it up. Simple as that. Now you can just slam it with some distortion, a bunch of OTTs and call it a day. And I won't judge, but that means it's the first time you watch my video. I'm all about some cheeky and not so obvious live tricks and devices. So before we jump into them, book the like button and subscribe if I assume correctly. First comes the reverb and before you put me on stake for performing some forbidden magic, we only use the convolution part of it. <laughs> Already pretty cool tone, but I'm not about it at all. Once you go into textures pack, you can have some pretty cool overtones, but it's better to drag your custom sample. Obviously, it's a little bit too long, but once we play with DK and size, then use this vintage slider to make it a little bit more gritty. You get some really cool overtones which then you can mix to taste with this dry and wet knob. On the side note, I kind of get why it is, but Ableton, please, add an option to modulate those two. What comes next needs no introduction, and just to not make yet another raw glorification essay, a few cool tips to try. First one is to use it in a serial mode, where the first shaper is noise injection. Next, my all-time favorites, half-wave rectifier and full-wave rectifier. Oh my fucking god. And don't forget you can also play with bias. Which actually gives you some cool tones straight away. Let's try full-wave rectifier, just for the sake of trying things out. Even better if you ask me. And last but not least, when it comes down to roar, change this filter to, let's say, dispersion, then increase the resonance, and then inside the filter frequency to envelope. You 
You can also try Com Filter, obviously. Remember when I said everything is stuck here? Well, I might be able to trick you for a split second since this one looks like a classic erosion, but in fact it's a true max for life powerhouse for sounds like those. It turns out that it uses phase modulation, which do not bore you with technical terms, sounds very close to FM. And as we know, the more FM, the bigger chance of being accepted by Bassheads community. While the noise mode... It's really cool, we already added it. Self-modulation is not what I deep dived to, to be fair with you, but once you switch it to oscillator, some magic happens. You could lock it to frequency, and this one is disrespectful, but you can also lock it to the pitch, which for this sound with a single note would be, I guess, C5. Then you can change the shape of this oscillator. But the coolest part about it is that once you have a riff like this one, for example, which is cool but kind of boring, you can easily put it on and then switch to MIDI controlled and sidechain it with this MIDI signal, which essentially gives you something like this. If you ask me, BS Audio Tools make some of the most unique Max for Life devices, which I'm up to show you more in depth really soon. In the meantime though, you might want to check another cool video on fully stock sound design, this time with a proper synth.